Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. I have something special for you today. I think I'm really excited about this one. Cellier and Bellet 156 grain soft point out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. I'm really curious to see how this really heavy bullet does. And here's the box for that Cellier and Bellet ammo. 156 grain soft point. There is your ballistics data for it. Little bit slow, 2,444 feet per second, but it is a very heavy bullet for 6.5 Creedmoor. Let's open it up and take a look at some of it. So I'll yank one out. And there it is. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Just a classic soft point hunting load. Brass looks decent. The bullets look good. Cellier and Bellet is actually known for, for pretty high quality um, but it's very affordable, so I'm really curious to see how this does. And the test rifle today is going to be my Ruger American, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor, of course. We've got a 22-inch barrel up top. I've got a Leopold VX Freedom 3 to 9 by 40 And bringing up the rear, of course, I've got one of my Mason leather cartridge cuffs. This rifle's name is Pig Ugly. You can kind of see it behind the cartridges there. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get one for yourself. I would love to make you one, and I want to show you over here on the other side We've got my wild boar design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. All right, we're down here at the blocks after shooting that heavyweight 156 grain soft point cellier and billet out of the 6.5 Creedmoor. I managed to catch two of the bullets. One of them zipped out the side, but hey, we did what we can do. So looking at penetration, it looks like we got one at 25 inches and one at, we'll call it 27 and 27 and 3 eighths. That is some serious penetration. And then coming over to the first block, it looks like we have our primary wound cavities between about the two inch and eight inch marks. So we got about a six inch primary wound ca cavity track. And let's take a look at the velocities for that heavyweight 156 grain soft point cellular and bellet stuff out of 6.5 Creedmoor. Our high was 2411, our low was 2398 and our average was 2,404 feet per second. And here we're looking at those Cellier and Bellet 156 grain heavyweight soft points pulled out of the ballistics gel. First, we'll talk about weight retention. Respectively, we saw 103 and 106 grains of retained weight for an average of 105 grains. That works out to 67% weight retention. Now that's a little bit lower than I like to see, but being that this is extremely budget ammo, I'm not really surprised. Now I'll talk about expansion. Respectively, we saw 0.6 inches and 0.68 inches of expansion for an average of 0.64 inches. That works out to 2.4x expansion. That's above my 2x benchmark I like to see, and also well within what I'm seeing for most 6.5 Creedmoor ammo. Now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2,411 feet per second. Our low was 2,398 feet per second for an average of 2,404 feet per second versus a factory build velocity of 2,444 feet per second. So we came in 40 feet per second slow on average. And honestly, that's pretty darn close to the factory build velocity. That's a lot closer than a lot of ammos get. And now on to penetration, and this is sort of the one place that this ammo really shines. We saw 25 inches and 27 and 3 eighths inches respectively for an average of 26 and an eighth inches of penetration. And I think that just goes to how heavy these bullets are for caliber. Final thoughts on that heavyweight 156 grain soft point cellular and bellet 6.5 Creedmoor load. All around it did okay. It, it sure did penetrate, that's for sure. We had 67% weight retention, and I think that higher weight retention as compared to the 140 grain version, which I've already done a video on, check that out if you haven't, simply had to do with the bullet being heavier from the start and it didn't expand and blow up as much. 
we saw 2.4x expansion, which is pretty good. That's about on average with what I see for most 6.5 Creed more loads. And then penetration wise, this is where this load shine, 26 and an eighth inches. And that's just because it's a heavy for caliber bullet. Of course, it's gonna penetrate deep. For my money, I'm gonna use something else to hunt with, but if my rifle likes this stuff for practice, it's a great option for that. If you've hunted with this particular load, let me and everybody else know how it did down in the comments. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.